Hello Gearspace, uh, my name is Martin from Modular Audio Tools and I'm the first time on the Super Booth presenting uh, my new own development, um, a very tiny USB audio interface. Uh, I developed this uh, because uh, I was always searching for a tiny portable audio interface with many input and output possibilities to replace these bulky mixers uh, you normally have to use uh, for connecting a lot of gear. And yeah, I'm doing live gigs um, nearly every month in Munich. And I have to go there uh, with public transport and put everything in my backpack. So my problem was I need a small mixer. Um, mixers are not small because they have all this button and stuff on it. Um, but I don't need them all. I just need a bunch of knobs to control, filters and so on. So I switched from a mixer to a setup with an iPad and uh, audio interface. But also the audio interfaces are quite big and bulky. Uh, if they have more than uh, four channels, you need a power supply and uh, they fill all the room of my backpack. So I searched the market for a tiny uh, audio interface which fits my needs, um, but there's nothing out. Uh, no one comes to the idea before to build a small audio interface. So a friend of mine uh, encouraged me to develop my, my own one. <laughs> and now I'm here. And can present it to you. So I've prepared a small setup here. Which, um, which shows uh, how I principally work. I, I use the ap a iPad just as a mixing station here and put everything I need on hardware controls which are better to handle in a live situation. I never use the touch screen live even in, in some special cases but regularly turning these knobs you can feel them, you can look in your audience um, and you know and learn where all your controls are. On the other hand the little synths which are connected all have their own controls, so I can reduce this to controlling the master levels of every unit. And truly there are some effects built into or configured into the iPad, uh, which I also can, can control in a, a separate controller for, the, for example a delay or yeah, also the main volume of the system and the pre-queuing for my headphones. I can switch pre queue on on different lanes and pre-listen to what's playing a certain synth and modify it before I go live with it. That's because I, I play with other people together in a jam sessions and so we can, uh, we can synchronize perfectly. Yeah, that's the one use case. There are different use cases. Perhaps uh, you, you meet some friends outside. You can use this as mixer for everyone. Everyone can plug in. And it also runs with a phone. It's a standard USB class 2.0 uh, interface, so it runs with every device which uh, accepts uh, 2.0 audio class devices. It runs with uh, 69 kilohertz and 24 bit uh, of audio resolution and a 110 uh, decibel um, noise to signal ratio. So this fulfills all new needs you have in a, in a live situation. Uh, even fits most of studio demands. So if, if you like to have an interface to connect all your analog gear together, yes, maybe that's the one you may go with. And on the other hand, uh, on the iPad, you also can multi-track record every, every single lane. Uh, works perfectly. So you can uh, afterwards in your door optimize your sound and uh, work around with the stuff. So, yeah, that's, that's my private project. I do this beside my normal job. And this is the first series of prototypes. I've manufactured uh, four of them. They're already working and very close to production level. Um, so, yeah, if the interest is big enough, and you can leave me an email on my website, modularaudiotools.com, and get informed if I start perhaps a Kickstarter campaign or something like that, uh, crowdfunding. Uh, you can pre-order and if I have luck, uh, it works all this year and I can deliver uh, this, this year already. The price depends a little bit on the, on the um, amounts I can produce in the first batch. 
it will be definitely below 500 euro, uh, including tax. I hope if the demand is very, very big, I can lower the price uh, in buying components and pro production and perhaps we came under um, 400 euro. For me, it's not a project I have to live from. <laughs> it's not my main earning. I told the people as I started this year, I would be happy if I get my costs in for the development, which have been yeah, quite a lot now. <laughs> um, then I'm happy. I, I wanted this device and nobody offered it, so I had to build it myself. And I would love to have everyone participate who is searching for such a device. And here on the fair, I get the impression a lot of people are searching for something like that. So hopefully we meet us again on, yeah, write an email. <laughs> Thank you.